Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog here at Perfect God Pursuing Me. This is just a really cute clip of my dog from the upstairs window where I'd be spying on him. We're jumping right into transitioning my second bedroom from my office into my Lola, who is my grandmother's bedroom because I was moving her in with me from California. So this was a late night of organizing, praying over the space. It used to be my prayer closet slash office, but I was trying to make it as cozy as possible before her flight got in and this was my last day working in the space before she got here. We flew her out from California to New York City and then we went and picked her up right before Thanksgiving and here she is. Everyone's prayers over her travel and her move have been so much appreciated. A quick testimony is that we were nervous that she wouldn't be able to board her flight because her ID had expired but hours before she was supposed to leave, on a delayed flight, her new ID showed up miraculously in the mail. I literally had knots in my stomach, just worried that TSA was going to give her a hard time. And the whole time I was praying, God was like, no, I got her, don't worry. And then I found out that her ID came and it was just blowing my mind that even someone who I view as like my elder and someone that I look up to, that's God's beloved daughter. Like he he has ownership of her, right? She's not just my grandmother. She was so nervous to fly by herself, but she was brave. She did it. The Lord was with her. She found favor every step of the way, and he is just so faithful. Jumping forward a couple weeks, you're seeing me get ready for a surprise birthday dinner for my dear friend, Desiree. We went to the Cheesecake Factory for a little girls' night to celebrate her. The food was obviously amazing, and we had a blast. Next, you'll see Keenan and myself completing our Christmas tradition of picking out a fresh cut Christmas tree. He was honestly going through a difficult situation at work at this time, and I was capturing footage for the vlog, and I thought I was going to mute the audio, but as I listened back, it was really heartfelt, so I wanted to be able to share that with y'all. That's why I just kept telling myself, like, I'm going to come out better from this situation no matter what happens with it. If you watched my most recent sit and talk video, I was speaking about 12 ways God revealed my kingdom spouse to me and this was a prime example of one of those ways, which is him being calm in the midst of a storm like this. I know internally he's probably screaming, but he just keeps his cool even when, you know, it looks like the ship is sinking and I really appreciate that about him. Oh, that's pretty good price for the size. It oh does my God. <laughs> this point he had a super long day at work so I took it upon myself to have some quiet time with Jesus while decorating the tree. We didn't get enough lights at first. I was having a hard time figuring out how much lights are needed for this much tree so obviously I underestimated here but I had fun decorating in phases. This was the first phase. I was super proud of myself. We like to keep it pretty simple and minimal for Christmas honestly. We don't go all out and like spend a bunch of money on ornaments. We just kind of build on whatever we have left over from the year prior and we get pieces that will hopefully last a long time a little bit as we go. And that's something that he felt convicted about last year. And I say whichever ornaments are left over because our dogs are young and no matter what happens every year we end up losing a bunch of decor because they think that it's a toy and they end up getting to it as soon as we look away. Next, you'll see me attending a worship night. This was the hotel leading up to the banquet hall. It was so beautiful. I wanted to capture some footage for y'all to see, but this testimony was so powerful. Shout out to Minister Latoya and the entire worship team. The Holy Spirit was present, y'all. I'm over here shouting in the corner. <laughs> see if you can spot me. I actually walked into this experience with limited mobility because my tailbone was bruised from my road trip but through shouting and just giving God my body I literally walked out of that room going from like 40% mobility to 80% that's how tangible the Holy Spirit was so I repented recently and just like kind of got right with God let him deal with me in a certain area of life that I had been slipping up in and I feel like so much lighter i feel like i'm glowing different like he's so good like i can hear his voice more clearly my dreams are like 
sniper accurate like he's just good and it's not like my repentance made me deserve it but like I can receive better because I repented mm, he's so good this was Sunday at church the sermon was so good I had so many notes to review afterwards and as always I will drop the link to the sermon in the description box please watch it for yourselves I have one puppy left from my dog's litter that is still looking for a home so that's what this clip is just a little bit of his cuteness his name is Oreo and I'm praying he finds the perfect family soon now I'm taking you guys along for a little date night that the man of God took me on we went to a small theater and watched the new Aquaman, which was really fun. I fell asleep, but I still had a good time. Like I said earlier, I was keeping the Christmas decor festive, but pretty simple this year. I had these little tea light candles already in the house, as well as these glass jars. So I just found some organic uh, pine material in my backyard stuffed that into the jar with some water and some cranberries and called it a day. This garland over the front door was pretty much the only outside decor that I did. I got everything on sale at Hobby Lobby because it was already December so once December hits the Christmas decor goes 50% off so that's where I got the garland. I found some pine cones outside my house and just snagged some ribbon and then used some Christmas lights and I was really proud of the outcome. It was cute, it was festive, it was simple, easy, it wasn't too much. I was having a talk with my spiritual uncle and he was telling me about how he got convicted not to put up a Christmas tree this year and I haven't got convicted about that but I did feel strongly convicted about what I adorned the top of the tree with. I felt strongly that I needed to get this crown of thorns to represent Jesus and keep him at the center of the celebration and the holiday. I felt really strongly about not topping the tree with an angel because it felt like idolatry and as well as not with a star because it just felt very pagan. Something about it was not sitting right with me. This is a small clip of music ministry nights. It's so much more than music. Some days, like I've been telling you guys, we don't even write we just pray, but this day I got some worship flags in the mail and decided to bring them over. But as it pertains to music ministry, this day that the man of God and I found this really cute coffee shop close to our house and I got this footage, behind the scenes, I was having a battle in showing up and continuing to give my yes when it comes to the music of ministry that God has called me to. And it was my fiance that kept me accountable and held my feet to the fire in doing all that it is that God has called me to do and doing it well and doing it with gladness in my heart. Even if that means saying no to doing certain things for him and for our household. The word of the Lord in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 and 10 says, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. I went and got these pictures printed at Walgreens yesterday because we decided to take down all of our old pictures of us um, from our last season because God has changed us so radically that we don't recognize those people anymore. And we decided to just have pictures of us in our house that are of the new us. So that's what I'm doing is just working on getting new pictures up of us. I love this one because he looks at me with so much love. So sweet. I just wrapped up some work for the day. I'm kind of like in holiday mode, just cooking and planning a little surprise for the man of God's birthday. But I wanted to just sit and talk for a little bit because I feel like I haven't done that with y'all on a vlog in a while. My bestie sent me the scripture today in Isaiah 8 and 19. And when they say to you, inquire of the mediums and the necromancers who chirp and mutter, should not a people inquire of their God? Should they inquire of the dead on behalf of the living? I've been a little all over the place since we got back from our travels, but 
I have been so moved lately thinking about all that God has brought me out of and just burdened for the fact that if he can do it for me, if he can deliver me from pornography addiction, marijuana addiction, psychedelic mushroom addiction, low self-esteem, broken heartedness, poverty, the list goes on and on, witchcraft, tarot cards, astrology, yoga, all of that false doctrine. If he can do that for me, he can do it for anybody. And not only can he, but he patiently but desperately waits and desires it. We literally can't afford to be lukewarm right now. There's so much at stake. There are family members, there are friends, strangers, but people who are known to God that are just waiting on us to make that move, to make that first step, to let the Holy Spirit lead us, to be bold and to bring them back home where they belong. I just experienced something yesterday where I realized somebody that I know um, that I just didn't expect was involved in witchcraft and tarot card reading and it's just been blowing my mind because that could have still been me. I could have still been allowing demons to enter into my body, my spirit, and my bloodline by actively engaging and consulting dark spirits and tarot cards for guidance rather than the Holy Spirit. Like that could have still been me, but God convicted me. He used his word and his spirit to literally pull me up out of that which was a generational curse. I was taught tarot card reading through an elder in my family. That's what that's the inheritance that was handed me in a, in the flesh. But God gave me a new covenant and a new inheritance. And I've just been praying for this person and their generations so heavily, but like God can use even that person. Like, you know what I mean? God can change and let his spirit fall upon and minister to and through even that person, right? And so like, I don't know, I've just been chewing on this thought of like, how can we like love better and love more to bring more people, you know, back into their inheritance, their holy inheritance of God and salvation through repentance and like really living for him, you know? It's no time for lukewarm. Okay, so tomorrow is my man's birthday. And I got a bunch of stuff to like make the house cute for a little birthday party. And I use the word party loosely because it's just gonna be us. <laughs> just the people who live in this house who will be attending because none of his friends from his hometown of Baltimore, Maryland can make it. But yeah, God, I feel like just alley-ooped me with his friend that's out here, invited him over to just chit chat and hang out for the evening. So I'm gonna have some time to get his goodies baked, get everything set up and cute. I wanted to do some rearranging in here because this is gonna be like his party space. And I was gonna wait until he went to sleep tonight and sneak down here and do it, but now I can do it now and he'll come home and have a surprise. He'll probably be home after midnight, so it'll be perfect. Let's go. He called himself getting tired and homesick and came home super early, but I just hid everything as best I could. The balloons are pretty much blown up that seems like a simple task but for me like the way that i process sounds like that's a very difficult and overstimulating task for me because the machine that blows up balloons is so loud that it's like i can't think but there's no way i would be able to blow all that up by just using a straw so i'm grateful for it but i need like a break and a reward after <laughs> using it the man of god is texting me right now he's like what are you up to and i'm like do because I cannot lie to him but he can't know what I'm doing and it's just total surprise I'm trying to be low I think I'm just gonna dub his text <laughs> completely so I don't have to lie I have been loving these Chobani Greek yogurt key lime pie crumbles like you flip the cup in it's so good so this is my reward for dealing with that loud sound working through this I had a quick snack um, of some leftovers I made a couple days ago after I eat this I'm gonna hang everything up on the wall and then I think once it looks cute like my brain will be able to like put the pieces together a little more easily. <laughs>
I literally thought I could get this done in an hour. Bruh, this took me like all night. I was losing steam, so I made some iced coffee. I was baking so many cookies, and they all had the cool in between. I only have one baking pan. That's really what took forever, so I decided to just go ahead and make our lunch for the next day while I was baking cookies. But it was all worth it. It turned out so cute. I also got him this little card. When he read it in the morning, a little tear came to his eyes. I was like, yes, he feels special. I did it. Oh, this is sound sleep. What is this? Are these little strawberry cookies? Ooh. And these are pumpkin white chocolate snickerdoodles. Pumpkin white chocolate snickerdoodles. <laughs> this is like our photo station, you know? Right now we are KJ. Mm-hmm. Oh. So he's been in love with this one puppy since it came out of our dog's womb. And I've been saying, like, we cannot handle another dog. There's no way. Like, I'm taking him to the pound. But the whole time I knew I was going to let him keep that one dog for his birthday. So this was him receiving that puppy. We now have three whole dogs. Big happy family here. Dig in. I'll be the. Dig in. <laughs> KJ's 27th birthday party was a success. Christmas Eve, we visited a different church in the area, and the praise dance department showed up and showed out. I was so blessed. They did a dance to Now Behold the Lamb, which is a really special song to myself and my fiancé. So I was sitting there crying when this woman of God was dancing. I had to show y'all. Same For our Christmas Eve dinner, I made us adobo chicken wings with some bok choy. And then for our Christmas morning breakfast, the man of God chefed it all the way up. He kept it a surprise for me, made me stay up in the room and just made this whole elaborate breakfast, which was the best gift. And then here is me snuggling with our new baby, Butta. He is so adorable, the newest member of the family. For our Christmas lunch, we had lumpia, we took a couple Christmas portraits after, and that was pretty much the tea. Thank you so much for watching. I pray this vlog blessed you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.